afternoon, everybody. Back at the chase for the win and for the W. Try to get serious here. What did I get that was new? Oh, I got a new accessory. It's activated. Uh, change up Try a slider in there. Cutter. Print a slider and a four seam fastball. You know what? Let's do that one instead right there. So, fastball, changeup, curveball, cutter. Yeah. That'll be perfect. Four pitch repertoire. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Columbus Clippers taking on the Syracuse Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And starting this one, Jose De Leon. What should we keep an eye on here? He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. Yeah, I mean, he's not trying to. My batting average hurts right now. 167. Trust his defense behind him, and he's not going to mess. Um. This sentence not right here. Let's see if that fixed my problem. around with a whole bunch of different offerings only three pitches in the repertoire so he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns yeah something not right here hang on
Chris. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> to the play. Oh. I say you win. One ball, one strike. One one. Newton leads off first with one away. The oh. one one is cut on and missed at a pitch <clears throat> upstairs. Hey, you got it. No one better. Here we go. Righty delivers. Oh. And a miss, and he struck him out. <clears throat> That's out number two. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH. Chris Rocket. The designated hitter. Chris. Hankins back to work. And first offering is fouled off. That one hit to right. And base hit. Base hit. With the way defenders track down balls now these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hey, hits on balls right hit now. like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. On the ground, could be two. Ah, great right. short Over stop. to second, on to first, double play. Good double play, guys. Good double play. And welcome back. And now the DH, Chris Rocket. Leading off for the man, mm. the designated hitter. Chris. Hit a single look better. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And he's going to catch it. Ah. One up, one down. Mm. Kill me, home slice. Next is the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Next pitch. Uh, it's a pop up. up. Rodriguez Dang it. moving under it. 
Makes the grab. Two down. Two on, one out. Four, and next four. is the designated hitter, Ugh. Chris Rocket. We are tied. These guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. Line drive. Off balance beat. There's one. Double play. And we're headed to extra innings. Sheesh. We're in extras <clears throat> here. And here is Brett Beatty. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Come on, Brett. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the 10th. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't Come let on, JT. His focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swing. Come on. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. And there's two uh. away. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself yeah, right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just put yeah, the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Runner leads away at second. A laser to left base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Nice job of driving right, that pitch the other way <coughs> on the home, line. Luke. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always Runner, translate. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Tag safe in second. Good job. Come on, Luke. And a pitch. And that'll load the bases. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. All right, Lewis. It's all home. Batter, and this inning Grand really slam. Come on. Come on, big guy. We need you right here. And he'll one. The other way. He steps on the bag. Out number three. So, so we're still an extra. So first and Ooh, second the and Digging yeah, in, Chris Rocket. The designated hitter, Chris. Yeah. One time, Kevin, one time, let's go. Oh, work it ahead, get a good pitch right here, here we go. And it's yes. to the center, that's a base hit. Brinson, rounds third, headed for the plate. Throw is offline. This one's over, and they walk it off in the 11th. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding <laughs> crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying four. so long. For your victorious home team, five runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left 17 men on base. For the Clippers, four runs on 10 hits, no errors. They left 15 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. baseball fans and welcome the show has triple a baseball for you it's the columbus clippers taking on the syracuse mets and, now, your and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this so just about set now and today's starting pitcher chris rocket well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. 
Okay, all set to go. Here's a speed threat. Richie Palacio. All right, Richie. How are we doing? Let's see. Start right here. Line of the pitch. Yes. And we're underway. First pitch, 105. You'll want. That's outside. Oh, that's outside, and that is ball one. There we go. Is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Stepping in, the number three. Eight. Number three. First pitch, and he just misses. Cologne. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's two and zero. Oh. Two zero is in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And now it's even up. I got to count two and two. In the air, right field. Catch it. Yes. Racing makes the catch. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Harold Ramirez, Ramirez digs in now. Oh. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Pitch has popped up. Mauricio got it. under it. I got it. I got it. Makes the catch inning over. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, George hey, Valera. Hey, Valera. <laughs> and a pitch. Oh, that what? one missed. I have got to work on my breaking pitches. Just miss. See, every time I try a breaking pitch, it's not going where it should be. Swing and a miss. Now, strike two, one. one. You know I've got the precision at pitching. The bottom right. of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. It might, when we go back to the clubhouse, have changed that for <coughs> like more control. And hopefully have a and control. Off. Uh, well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Fought off foul. Next offering is fouled back. Two two now. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all.
next pitch has popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, number 67. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Oh. Next offering is down low. 1-0. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. Two-two now. And downstairs. Three two now. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Hey, two here. Next offering is fouled back. He swings and fouls one off. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. That one fouled off. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Payoff pitch. In the air out towards right center. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. On to the third inning. And now Gabriel Arias. Leading off for Columbus. Hey, come on, guys. The Rocket Gabriel back to work. A little bit low. He needs a quick one, two, three Help, this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a nope, perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. That offering is in for a strike. That one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Foul ball there. Arias at second, Dingler at first with no outs. Next pitch inside. Two balls and a strike. Yo, know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The pitch. Got him! And that is a big first out. Gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. Baden makes the catch, and there's two away. So first and second with two outs. Now it's going to be number three. Hey, we got two. Two down. All right, Dad. Hey, let's go right here. This to center field. Lee settles underneath got it, got it. Got it. And that is that. No out. Out of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Harold Ramirez. Leading off for Columbus, 
With the right hander back to work. There's the strike. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Left field, way back there. That ball's carrying. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Around second now, going for three. And a great start to the inning. A leadoff triple puts the tying run at third. Here's the center fielder, George Valera. In there for strike one. No outs, runner over at third. The next pitch misses. And that's ball one. So now one and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And the pitch stays alive. Kicks and fires. Rolled over to third. But the run scores, and that makes it a 1 1 game. Now Alec Keller will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that well, early in the count. Next offering misses. Ball one. Next offering is foul back. Foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses, and the count is even, hey, two and two. center Cordero under it snags it for the second out two outs base is empty now it's the right fielder number 67 and that's in there for strike one all one's the count you out here left hand hitter waits good eye right there one ball, one strike. Yeah, now oh, two balls and a strike. Play. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Wait. Next pitch misses. Three and one. Now, he hasn't one. fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. On the ground. He takes it on his own, and that'll do it. To the bottom of inning number. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. The, shortstop, Gabriel the wind of the pitch. Arias. And it's fouled away. Hey. Next offering is two. in for a strike. There you go, fellas. Let's go. No balls, two strikes. Next offering way One off the plate. Oh, right ah. Got him. One away here in the fifth. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Dingler in the box now. No balls in a strike. Right-hander deals. Pitch is in for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Hey, let's go right here. On 
the ground right side to his left knocks it down next to switch hitting first baseman number 28 first pitch just misses Dingler leads off first with one away Next offering is in for a strike. And we got one here. On the ground, left side. Six, four, Out. three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Julio Gomes takes over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. One error. They left 10 men on base. For the home team, two runs on eight hits. No error. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, 2 hours and 45 minutes. Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium. Triple A baseball on MLB the show. It's the Columbus Clippers taking on this. Just about to get started. And on the mound now, John James. What's the word on him? Uh, he's off to a good start, getting a win in his first start of the season. And so lifting Johnny a little Curry. bit of pressure right here. It's all about getting win number two. Rocket. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Now, here is Chris Rocket. He's 0 for now 1. Batting, the designated hitter, Rick Rocket. Lifted in the air, right center field. Bonifacio heading to the alley. And it's caught for the out. One down. Chris Rocket now at the plate. Okay, now back the designated hitter. Chris Rocket. Line drive. That's a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Brett Beatty, the next to hit. Rocket off of first with two away. Ground ball up the middle, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. First and second, two down. And now the right fielder, number 11. One and two now. High in the air, out to right. Bonifacio drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and the inning is over. Runner on at first with one gone. And the batter now, Chris Rocket. Now batting, the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and they don't get an out on the play. First and second, one out. Kyle Garland digs in now. And miss. 
just struck him out two away down. No, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow depth. The two strikes you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Two outs. Hit in the air, right field. Bonifacio should have this one. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that... 9-1 is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John... That was a foreseen loss. He recently got the call to AAA, and he is now within shouting distance of the major leagues. But for now, he'll have to prove that he can compete and excel at this AAA level. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is here with me today. How does AAA prepare a player for the majors in a way that AA doesn't? Yeah, I think it's changed a, a lot in, in recent years. They, they used to always say that if you could compete at AA, you could play in the big leagues. And, and that might be true, but you're seeing fewer and fewer players make that double jump up to, to the big leagues. Organizations want their prospects to play in, in AAA. I think it's, a, it's another level of challenge. It's kind of an incremental step rather than throwing them right into the fire of uh, a big league competition. You have a lot of guys at the AAA level who have big league experience. They know how to play at that level, and so he'll face uh, that kind of level of competition. But he'll also be able to pick the brains of guys on his own team Purdue who have been there. So when that call pitching, does come for him to make it to the big leagues, he'll be ready. Help with the preciseness and location. Welcome to Ship It Stadium. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Buffalo Bisons. All right, ready to go here. And today's starter, Steve Fuller. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. Just a four-inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. Rick. Rocket. Chris Rocket stands in with two away as he takes a ball right there. The pitch. Up the middle. And that's a base hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Man at first. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. 
good power, not great in the OBP department. Right-hander kicks, deals. This one popped up. Taylor makes the catch, and that'll do it. So it's on to the bottom of the inning. No score. Bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Samad Taylor. And leading off for the Bison, the second baseman, Samad. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Rocket under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Now batting the first baseman, Chris Rocket. In the air, out towards left center. Two down. The batter at the play. Colton Kowser. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. That one down the line. Takes it himself. Out. One out in the bottom of the fourth. So up next, Colton Kowser. I mean, these guys know they have now to get that. going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. On the ground is short. Could be two. Newt to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Next to hit, number 36. Now the 01. Towards first, Rocket. Over to pick it up. Safe! Safe at first as they can't make the play. Top six. Now here is Chris Rocket. Leading off for the net. The first baseman. And he deals. Rocket. A little out front oh, there as he down. swings through it. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Turned on, but foul wide of third. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so. Back here at the ballpark. And now here is Lars Newtball. For the Bison, the right fielder. Lars. And he grounds one to the right side. Rocket oh. steps on the bag. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting. Number 25. Two outs, nobody on. And here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. See it, drive it, let's go, kid. Out towards left center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And the inning is over. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the visitors, two runs on eight hits. One error. They left six men on base. a place that has quite the reputation ship it stadium the show has triple-a baseball for you it's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Buffalo first pitch coming your way next just a little bit away from first pitch and towing the slab here Bowden Francis Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him 
perhaps one of his best outings of the year last time out. Worked deep into the ball game, only gave up three hits. Today, he's going to try to do the exact same thing. And now, and third, Chris Rocket. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Leading off for Syracuse. The first baseman, Chris See it, drive it. Let's Rocket. Go, the right-hander back to work. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. First pitch swing in. Went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence. But you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And the righty deals. In the air, left field. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. One, two now. Swing and a slow roller. Sends it across the first. Score at 5-3 for the second out with the third baseman shifted over there. Man at second here with two away. Khalil Lee gets a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time. Just a weak fly ball this time. Bird makes the catch, and that'll do it. Here's the third baseman, Miguel Iraldo. Now batter. Number 51, the, the lead runner at second. Miguel. Number 36 on at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground, might be two. Rocket. Goes to second for one. Back to first, double play. 3-6-3, three, three, nicely done. And here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Oh, one for two. Right here. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Base is loaded, two down. Nice and patient, one at a time. Soft contact in the air, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Huge opportunity. So one out with two aboard. Chris Rocket getting ready to hit. Now batting the first baseman, Chris Rocket. That one fouled off. Hey, get your pitch and drive it. The pitch. Swing and a miss no as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Come on, big guy. One Runners time. at first and go. second with one gone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels. Runners on the corners with one gone. Now the third baseman, now Miguel Hiraldo. Miguel Hiraldo. And that one hit to first. The throw to second. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll... Chris Rocket now at the plate. Now batting. Plenty no, of offense in this one, Siggy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where oh, you boy, expected Miguel. offense to on, score Miguel, and on, not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up. On to first, ball game. And your final, 12-2.
For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us. Well, that was an expected loss right there. <coughs> I got to work on my batting next. Let's see how my pitching control training went. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Triple A Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Buffalo Bisons. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. Getting the nod in this one, Chris Murphy. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters. They have a hard and time staying back. Bottom of the first. Now the it's the DH. Samad Taylor. Taylor. The pitch. That clips the corner. 0 and 1. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Kicks and deals. Ball one, one there. Ball and nobody out now. And that one fouled off. Down on strikes he goes. One gone, bottom half of the first. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. The 1-0. And a foul ball. Righty to the play. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Hey, we got one out here. The wide to kick the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches swung on broken back grounder to third the throw to first here tonight an efficient start to the home first two away the center fielder. and now the center fielder Colton Kowser And fouled off. Oh, and one now. And that's a strike. That just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. pitches downstairs sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at bat take some tough pitches even out the count next pitch misses inside full count now payoff pitch and yeah, there's ball four so here we go again with the walks it's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past now, even if they get out of this jam these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team Taps softly to the right side. 
He handles it himself. That's the inning. An inning in the books tonight. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. Now, Vinny Capra. And leading off for the Vikings, the shortstop. Rocket back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The pitch. Bounce to third. Beatty to first. And a quick out, number one. Batting six. Number 96 will hit next. Number 96. Hey, get ahead right here, Meek. Fouled off. He was late. One down. One down. The 0 1. Hard hit left side. And it goes just foul. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting seven. Here's the second baseman, number 25. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And the first well, pitch misses late. for ball one. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, get him at one here. All right, let's go. Falling behind two and one. is that right now. bottom of the inning here's the left fielder number 36 and the, bison's the bison's in striking distance no but have field. some work to do Boog, it starts 36. with the laid off man I need a good at bat out of him right here hey. and a good fastball to start him off at strike one Two as he waves at that one. Right. The punch out there, and that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other Batting way, nine. but that time, a little anxious. Miguel. And now it's going to be Miguel Iraldo. Hey. That one's in there, 0 oh 1. offering is in for a strike all right now he may have not liked hey, either of those now, first two down. pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close Whoa. to the zone the next offering misses now one and two and a swing and a miss back-to-back -back strikeouts Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and now played the right into the, the hands line. of the pitcher. Taylor. He swings and fouls one off. Hey, two. Two. Nope. Next That's offering is downstairs. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Here's a high chopper. Nito to first in time. Third out. All right, come on, Back now. here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Chavez Young. And leading off for the Bison. Rocket the right back field. to work. And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. It's just been an impressive anyway. outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down 
That's what's been key. Deal one. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Here's the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Ziggy. It buddy. feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout That's guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And a count one and two. The Bisons hitless so far in the game. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Here we go, and here it comes. Gets under it and pops it up. I got it. Ball, Baden ball. makes the play, and there are two outs. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high the fastballs, they just look the really good because they're high level, but they're just about oh, impossible yeah. to get the barrel to. McGuire batting with one down takes a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The Bisons yet to pick up a hit here. On the ground, out to short. Mauricio with the throw to first. That ends the frame. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And the batter will be the shortstop, and Vinny Kaplan. And a pitch. Ball one, Good eye right draw. there. Ball one, no strike. And a good eye there. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. Better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a 2-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two now. And another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Down on strikes, and one gone. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball yeah, four. Instead, the umpire talking. rings him up for the backwards K. And first offering is fouled off. The Bisons hitless so far in the game. Pitch misses. One and one. And one and one. Yeah, we got one here. In the air, right field. Number 11 has a beat on it. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, number 25. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 
Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That to right. Got it, got it, got it. Brings it in for the third out. He's through five without allowing a hit. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, number 36. And leading off for the Bison, the left fielder. And the right hander back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Hey, come on, guys. The wind of the pitch. Tap to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball now out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another Miguel. ground ball. Good execution. Hiraldo. Next to hit, Miguel Hiraldo. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First offering, misses the mark. One out now. The ball next two. pitch misses. And the count on, is 2-0. Oh. No the Bisons still looking for their first hit in this one. Ball three. Next offering misses. Three balls, no strikes. And that's ball no, four. That's ball. Take the break. And the batter now, Samad Taylor. The batter, the designated hitter, Samad Taylor. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And yeah, the pitch stays alive. The 0 2. Fastball, and he gets Two out three. of the way. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball. Three. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Got him. Two out. Now it's now the switch back. hitting outfielder, right fielder. Chavez Young. Chavez. Young. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Here we go, boys. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Ball, that's too high. The Bisons yet to pick up a hit here. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. And now the center fielder, Colton Kowser. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So two balls and no strikes. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and a one. Geraldo on second. Young at first. Two out of the inning. Right side. Ritter handles the chance. They take the force out. That ends the inning. So another for him on the mound. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. And leading off for the Bison, the catcher, Reese McGuire. Nobody here, nobody. Rocket back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Next nope. one misses. One ball, one strike. I got a ball, one strike. Next off. 
offering is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. And he grounds one back up the middle. Throws to first. One up, one down. The batter, and now, five. Vinny Capra. Stop. Vinny Capra. First offering, and it just misses. Ah. And he pumps it a strike. That one the other way. Base hit into right field. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game. Commanding his pitches. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. No errors. They left 15 runners on base. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Buffalo Bisons. Ready to go? And on the hill, the big righty, Tristan Bett. What do you look for here? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see that the OPS hurt. jump dramatically. Rip. Rocket. And rip it up there. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Okay. And it's nothing in two. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Huh? Lined in the left center. Guys. Base hit. So two down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Brett Beatty. Here's the 0-2. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So it's on to the bottom of the... So now the DH spot, Chris Rocket. Now batter, the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing in one. Check swing, went around. Oh, and the count is 0-2. And, and that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Base is empty, one away, and here is on, Chris right Rocket. Here, right here. Right here. Chris Rocket swings through that That's one. Oh, and one. Speed up and driving, huh? Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. Swing. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Two gone yeah. after the strikeout. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the start. And now the DH, Chris Rocket. Now one for three. Chris Rocket. Now this is in the air down the line. Thomas makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Hey, now at the plate, right Chris Rocket. The, the designated hitter, Chris 
struck it. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. Hey, He's got to nice go through the heart of this lineup. Hit. Here's your one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Hey, let's go, big fella. Let's get it, All right, come on now. And he'll two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Bird pulls that one down, and there's one down. Certainly can't complain about a lack of action in this one. A high-scoring game. Purists might not love it, but pretty impressive showing at the plate from both sides. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one. on a losing for streak here. Ten and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Try Thanks keep for trying. By. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Just means they're good enough wins. <clears throat> Welcome to Ship It Stadium. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Buffalo Bison. 3-7, they're 6-4. Right now they're doing better than, than First me. pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about ready for baseball. Pitching in our game today, Eric Pardino. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. He finally picked up his first win of the season. Took him a few starts to get there, but now that you got that behind you, you can focus on moving things ahead. Looking for number two in this one. Foul ball there. Ooh. No score just getting just started top of the one. first. Ah. He's down 0-2 as he swings swung through at that one. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Slapped foul. It's, come on. The only thing I can actually get a hold of. Like that. Swing and a ground ball out That'll to work. Short. Gets it to first. It. And that is the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat. Samad Taylor. And leading off for the Bison, the designated hitter, Zamar. The pitch. Taylor. That one to first. Rocket picks it up. He takes it on his own. One up, one down. Batting second. And now, Chris Rocket grounded out his first time. The first base. Chris Rocket. Just caught the leading edge of the bat on that one, so I that one was going to be a pop out. I got it like just above the hands. And now the shortstop, Vinny Capra. The batter, Part Number of the five. order coming through now, Good and stop. with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. To first, maybe a two ball. And he handles it himself for the out. Should have went to second first and then, to, and then got the right first. So two down now, and here is Miguel Hiraldo. One for two. Third baseman, Miguel Hiraldo. Tap to first. Rocket loves it. Rocket takes it to the bag, gets him easily, ends the inning. So first and second with one man gone. Stepping in, number 96. Number 96. Him. I guess. And now the one to third might be two. Quick feed to second for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. There we go. That's how you do it, double play. So one out, nobody on. Chris Rocket, the next to hit. Now that the first baseman, Chris Rocket. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good Damn fastball, man. excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I didn't want to check swing. I wanted to actually swing. Right hander kicks deals. Ah. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two away. Now. And a 7 1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Seven runs on 13 from a place that has quite the reputation ship it stadium triple a baseball on mlb the show it's the syracuse mets taking on the buffalo and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this just about set to go now now the starting pitcher in this one steve fuller chris how about a scouting report a really good outing for him last time scattered two runs was attacking hitters getting ahead in the count Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. That one pushed foul. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Here we go. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses the first. Third out. And that ends the frame. End of a half. Now it's going to be Chris Rocket. Now batting. 
the first baseman. Rick. Rocket. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. The pitch. Whip. Popped up, middle of the diamond. And there's one away. And here is number 36. Newt Bar Batting at nine. second with nobody out. No left fielder. Number 36. That one to first. Has some trouble with it. But he wins oh. the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. All set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Fuller back to work. Rocket. Popped in the air. Left field. One away. Runner at first with two away. Vinny Capra digs in now. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Vinny. And he'll one. Capra. Hard on the ground at first. No play. That's an infield single. And here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Come on, big now guy. Batter. Get your pitch right here. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. That one fouled off. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind go. their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And he chases that one. And that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, please go. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. On, now batting, the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Pick off move to second. Jankowski dives back in safely. Atta boy. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time right here. Rush. And he swings and misses, oh, and it's yeah, nothing in one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Next pitch is popped up. Number four, under it. He's got it, and there's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. And your final, six to two for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. When you get to the AAA level, you know exactly how close you are to making the major leagues. Sean Casey, you know more than a little about that. You only had to spend 20 games at AAA before you got the call to the majors for the first time. What's it like being on the doorstep of the show? Well, when you get to AAA, this is where you really want to impress because you know you're, the next call up is the big leagues, and that's what you've been dreaming about your whole life. So. You know, I think it, it, one thing when you get to AAA, a lot more veteran players, too. A lot of guys that have been up and down the big leagues, not so many young kids like there were in the lower level. So it's definitely a different environment in AAA. But as a player, though, when you know you're there, you, you could start to sense, like, okay, I just got to put up some good numbers. I got to be myself uh, and play as hard as I can. And that next call is going to be the big leagues. And there's, th th that's where dreams are made.
and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on the series. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the mound today, Jose De Leon. Well, he features a lot of arm side run on his fastball now to opposite handed hitters. It can be good. You get your arms extended, but for same side hitters, it can run in on your hands and really tie you up. So you've got to force him out over the plate if you're hitting from the same side that he throws. We'll see if this lineup can figure it out and if they can square that running fastball up. This one popped up, stopped, settles under it, puts the squeeze on it, and that's the inning. First frame of the night behind us. And it's nothing, nothing. One down. And next is the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. He's 0 for the 1. Designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Line drive. Gets down, down, down. Base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Two outs, runner at first. And here's the first baseman, JT Schwartz. Runner takes off. Ball misses. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. The catcher at the play. Chris Rocket. Now that the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Now a screamer into the outfield and makes the grab. Two down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth. So digging in, Chris Rocket for the now fourth time tonight. Designated hitter, Chris Rocket. And first offering is fouled off. Have a rip like you can. Here we go now, huh? All right, let's go. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. And the righty deals. In the dirt, blocked, but he's back. Now back. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Well hit, no errors. They left 14 men on base. Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on the Syracuse Mets. First pitch coming. Your so just about set now. On the hill here today, Chris Rocket. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. So just about set. This is Bryson Stott. The Bryson. A wind of the pitch. That's a strike. And that's how this game gets started. First pitch, 106. Hey, play the first, play the first. Next one off the plate inside. And it's a ball to strike. The 1-1. One, one. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. One out in the top of the first. Here's the left fielder, Matt Veerling. For 
for strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On the ground to first. He'll do it himself. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. And now it's Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. Hey, plays that first. Plays that first. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. I got it. And that'll do it. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Jake Shiner. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That's a laser face hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Josh Fuentes stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. even up. Next offering on, is down low. Right That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two right. one pitches in there and the count is even. <laughs> He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Shiner aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering yeah. upstairs with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here in the air fairly deep to right field he's got it and there's one down now it's the right fielder Justin Williams he's hit for that pop came out of the gates really strong in there and it's 0-1 Second inning here, no score. Next pitch has popped up. Schwartz has this one sized up. And yeah, there's two away. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until this next at bat. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just hey, mowing right him down. Seal, seal, seal. And there he goes. Pitching for a strike. The tag, and they got him. And that'll do it. Well, trying to get in the scoring position. but Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. No Webster no Rebox. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is way upstairs. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Bounce to the right side. Over to first. And one away in the top of the third. Daniel Brito now at the plate. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a Rito. skipper. You're not going to hear people really right. say that. Let's see. I've got seven runs. I've got seven. First pitch, and he just missed. My control is this game's hard enough, and, and you know, you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process every day, coming in, doing your work, 
uh, making the adjustments you need to make and just focusing on the task at hand that day. And that's foul. That one's we can spoiled. Catch and foul. And oh, okay. They count now two and one. Set catch and foul territory. Good. I'm up for that. What the? Hit hard, base hit. And that's going to really? get into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. Hit it. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Um, no, they're not going to. The call other back. way. Bam. Jankowski pulls it down. Out number Green two. Stay at zero. Now batting. The shortstop. Bryce now is here is Bryson down. Stock. Grounded out his first time. Hey, we got two. Two down. Pitch misses oh, inside. Awesome. Ball one. Man on second, two down. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Nope. Next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Next offering is fouled back. Brito stands at second with two gone. The next pitch misses. And the count's full. Ripped into right center. Base hit. Frito around third. He'll score easily. Right, my correction. They got one run. And in its second, but that's the all RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Veerling takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Hey, now we've got two. Next pitch is outside. Now 2 0. Runner at second. Two down. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Next offering clips the zone. Count even at two. Kicks and deals. That one the other way. Base hit. Stop. Around third. Save. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next offering misses. One and one. Next pitch is outside. There's the swing and a miss. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Pop up here, third base side. Newt settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. As we go to the top of the fourth, now here is Jake Shiner. Rocket back to work. There's a strike. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. That one ripped. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped the off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, yeah. and he's rewarded Good with the double. Get ahead, stay ahead. And right now, here. Josh Fuentes.
check swing. Oh, he again. went. That's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. It's out. Okay. Shiner leads off second with nobody out. In the air, left side. Cordero coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And the batter now, now Justin batter. Williams. Right check the runner, go Justin Williams. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Left-hand hitter waits, and it's fouled away. One out, and a runner at second. The one-one is upstairs, and that's ball two. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. So they're at the corners now. Here's the catcher, Webster Rebus. Hey, we got one out here. On the ground. There's one. Out. What a double yeah. play that was. Inning over. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Daniel Brito. The, the pitch. Baseman, Daniel. And ball yep, one. Ball Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up so man aboard here's the center fielder Johan Rojas to short could be two one at second but safe at first it's a fielder's choice so the batting order turns over and now Bryson stops First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Rojas, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Here we go, roll it up, roll it up. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So up next, Matt Veerling. The left fielder, Matt Veerling. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Good eye in that spot. To third. Oh, wow. nice play. Got him. Nice Got him. play. And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Alec Bohm. Leading off for Lehigh Valley, the designated hitter. Rocket back Alex. to work. Boom. Ball one, no okay. strikes. Go out. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Lee oh, under oh, this oh. one. Makes the catch. One down. The and next will be the cleanup hitter. Five. Jake Shiner. Jake Shiner. Hey, we got one. On the ground, right side. What a stop. 
It's there, and that's a great play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's the third baseman, Josh Fuentes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts 1-0. and Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In the air to left center, Cordero ranging back, snags it on the run. And that is that. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Sean Reed Bolden. This is his fifth appearance. 14-3, the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. baseball fans and welcome triple a baseball on mlb the show it's the lehigh valley iron pigs taking on the syracuse mets all right just about set to go and towing the slab in this one jose buto what do we need to know here well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball Not rate. Important that the defense that's stays that's engaged in the game. Rip. I think it's critical. Rip. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Next is the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Now batting, the designated hitter, Chris Rocket. Swings through that oh one. Oh and one. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And there's something you don't see strike. very much in today's game, the pitch out. Let it fly. Let's go. Jankowski right over at first with one away. Fouled off left side. Throw to first, and he's back in there. Here we go. The one two. And a foul ball. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the DH, Chris Rocket. The designated hitter. Why to kick the pitch? Rich. Rocket. A swing and a miss. And oh, that's strike count. one. Little tardy on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. Oh. And a drop third strike leads to the first out. One out, runner at second. And go. now here is Chris now Rocket for the fourth time good. tonight. Rocket. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple A action coming at you on the show. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on the Syracuse Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set. And starting in this one, John James. A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. That Command, good. tempo, and the just really a confident presence Chris. out there on the mound. Rocket. Chris Rocket swings through one there. One. At time. the belt and fires. They say you win. I got to count. Oh, and two. Jankowski stands at third with one gone in the inning. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. It's a good breaking ball there. Just off. The so two down now. And here is Chris Rocket. Now batting. First base. You can do Chris. it. Rocket. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hey, let's go, big dog. Two on, two outs. And a foul ball. First and second, two down. Next pitch is popped up. And that ends the inning. T.J. Friedel will hit next. The left fielder, number 29, T.J. Friedel. Funny for a hit, first base side, Rocket. Out, number three. Yeah, we go bottom six, and here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Leading off for the bat, the first baseman. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Yohan. Out towards right center field. Muziato racing over to make the catch. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third. First and second, two outs. Now, Chris the Rocket. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. Hit slowly on the ground, and he picks it up in foul territory. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand this. Oh, oh right dude, to the backstop. Back. These fans, they are ready to hey, cheer about now, something. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. Jankowski headed for the plate. Play at the plate. Save. And it's a one-run ball game. It's 2-1. Really nice job. A two-strike hitting in that at bat. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice it. enough no and ripped better. it Let's into go. the outfield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. This one high in the air to left center. Muziati. Long run into the gap. And that is the inning. Now the third baseman, Josh Fuentes. Good power. Not great in the OBP Josh department. Fuentes. On the ground at first, Rocket collects. Steps on first for the out. Now batting. Base is empty with two away. And here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. One for three. Payoff pitch. Ground ball right side. On the run, He's sends out. it over to first. That's out number three. First and second, no outs. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. The first baseman, Chris Rocket. And that one fouled off. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. 
Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. In the air, left field. Base hit into the outfield. Throw comes in, and the winning run stops 90 feet from home. Nobody out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brett Beatty. Righty delivers, and he walked him. And the final score here, 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. For your victorious home team, four runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left 13 men. Welcome, thanks for joining us. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on the Syracuse Mets. And now, your And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, Joey Lucchese. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings Batting he's got two. in him. The first baseman, Rick Rocket. Bounced up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Number six, the next to hit. Rocket leads off first with two down to the inning. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the third out. End of one. Here's the third baseman, Josh Fuentes. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And a base hit right there. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So digging in, Chris Rocket. Now batting. The first baseman, Jones, Chris. checks on first. And he dives back in safely. Jack swing, went around, strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. And the pitch. That's the third. Lays out. He's got it. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Three innings complete. And the batter now, Josh Fuentes. The third base. Shiner eight. gets his lead at first with Josh nobody out. Fuentes. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab, one down. Now batter. Next to hit, Daniel Brito. The batter. The shortstop, Daniel. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Leading off for the left, the first baseman, Chris Rocket. And a pitch. Base hit. Well, that's.
that's one of those knocks where you almost Number expect eight. to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Just a simple soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying. Uh oh, he jumped the gun for second. Tag, and he's out at first. Couldn't get back to the bag. One down, runner at first. And now the first baseman, Chris Rocket. Rocket. Now fly ball to right center. Nice grab on the run. That's out number two. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Shiner. The first baseman, number 35. Jake. The wind of the pitch. On the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Triple A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the mound today, Jose De Leon. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time. High that leg kick. Good. And by the time the hitter sees it, hitter. it's right on top of it. Rocket. Pickoff move to second. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. Swing and a line drive caught. Come on, guy, get your Digging up, in, Chris Rocket. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Rocket. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one down. And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Chris Rocket. Here comes the pitch. The designated hitter, Chris. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce. And now it's going to be Chris Rocket. Now hey, let it fly. The designated hitter, Chris Rocket. On a line, base hit. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Now at the plate, Brett Beatty. Good power, not great in the OBP department. ball down the line that one back out of here ball game and your final score 5-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show thanks for stopping by I'm John Chomby talk to you soon here now We're back on the Road to the Show podcast with MLB Network analyst Ron Darling. And Ron, before we took a break, you mentioned that while it's important for a pitcher to focus in on the batter and make sure they throw each pitch with accuracy, command, and intent, it's also important to focus on runners on base and control them as well. What goes into an effective pickoff move to make sure that runners don't get too feisty? You know, we spend a lot of the time talking about upsetting the timing of the hitter. Well, it's mm -hmm. exactly the same with the base runner. You're trying to upset the timing of runners on first base who can steal bases. And how do you do that? 
you really just vary your times on your moves to first and vary your times and your delivery to home. Uh, if you play poker, you know that you don't want to be a person that gives a lot of tells so everyone at the table knows what you're doing. The same is for pitchers and base runners. You want to make sure that they don't have a tell on when you're coming to first or when you're going home. I'm going to call it and play a different game. Uh, but I can just switch over to do some trucking. So, everybody look out for that stream as I switch everything over. Later. Later.